y'all i am back with another lab series video i know y'all probably like you lied to us she said on tuesdays today is wednesday so this what's going on i've been busy i've been working on something sorry i couldn't get a video up yesterday but that don't matter because i'm here today so in this video we are talking about stability testing and just testing in general when you're making your cosmetics I always get a lot of questions about how long should I test, how do I know if my product is stable enough, so let's go ahead and talk about that today. So we all know that testing is key to your cosmetic formulations. You know that you cannot sell cosmetic out testing it because you don't know how it's going to hold up. You don't know if it's going to be stable enough. You don't know if there was any microbial contamination. You just won't know all of these things if you just make something and go ahead and try to sell it. So that's why I always tell you guys testing is key. You want to make sure that you are testing all of your formulas and all of your products before you even begin to think that you're ready to market them. Deciding how long you're going to test is really dependent upon you or your manufacturer whoever you decide to go through that'll make your products if you are manufacturing this yourself in home I would recommend that you test your products three months six months as well as 12 month interval intervals I think that is very important to know how long your product will stand or how it will hold up within three months how it will hold up at six months and also how it would hold up at 12 months I think generally 12 months is good enough for a product to even be on shelves it would be recommended to stay to or, or to tell your customers or your consumers to discard the product after 12 months anyway because you want something fresh after that long anyway so I would definitely again tell you guys to test at three month intervals six month intervals and 12 month intervals but you can do your research you can test it how long you want however long you want and it's just totally up to you and what you feel for your products and your brand. So a rule of thumb when testing your products, if you are only going to test your product at three months and you're like, you know what sis, I didn't test it for three months. I'm ready to get my product out there. I'm ready to get my brand out there. I'm ready to make some money. If you've only tested it for those three months, then your shelf life is three months. Don't put on your product, oh my shelf life is 12 months because I've tested it for three months. You don't know if it's 12 months because you only tested it for three months. Therefore. Rule of thumb, however long you test it is how long your shelf life is. If you test your product for only two weeks, your shelf life is two weeks. If you test your product for six and a half months, your shelf life is six and a half months. Make sure that however long you really want your product to last, you test it for that long and you test to see if it's stable, if it's holding up in certain conditions, if it's holding up in certain weather temperatures, how is it in the light, how is it in the dark, how is it when it's too cold, how is it when it's too hot, how is it when it's just warm room temperature. You need to test in all of these conditions because this will really let you know how stable your product is and how long it will last. Now this is also something that's very important that a lot of you guys don't really seem to ask me a lot. So I wanted to bring or make bring this up because I wanted to make sure that you guys are understanding of this. When you are creating a product, because I always tell you guys when I do your formulations, I tell you how to convert it to make bigger batch sizes. However, I do know that you guys aren't aware of making batch or lot numbers. So when you're making bigger batch sizes, you do need to assign lot numbers to those batch sizes. The reasoning behind this is because you want to make sure that you remember this was the batch that I created on this date and this is the expiration date that this batch will end up expiring on when this date comes again in the near future there's a lot more behind lot numbers or lot size or yeah lot numbers <laughs> but i just want you guys to know for right now you do need to assign lot numbers to your batch sizes so if you need more help on that definitely hit the link below to schedule a call with me so that we can talk about it because i want you guys to be successful with this and i want you guys to know exactly what you need to be doing so yeah so to sum this all up, you need to make sure that your products are stable, well tested, as well as batch created to ensure proper GMP as well as expiration dates. Because a lot of you guys do ask me, well, how do I know the expiration date of my product? How do I know when my product is old? I don't see any uh, different colors to my product. I don't smell anything. So how do I know? The best way to know is to do your testing and do it efficiently and do it effectively. Because if you don't, you really won't know and you'll end up selling a product that is not even supposed to be on the market so my best advice to all of you guys is to do your testing and don't have a word it y'all know what that word is because you don't want to cause any liability to yourself you don't want to cause your brand to be tarnished you don't want your products to be having a bad prep so you just want to do as much testing as possible 
you want to make sure that your products are as stable as possible but a stable product comes from a stable formulation so this is why I also offer you guys help because I know a lot of you you know you are beginning at it and you're like I'm stuck I'm lost and I just really want to help as many of you as I can so just make sure that you're making all of your products be stable from the beginning before you even get to stability testing so with that being said that is the end of this lab series I just wanted to make a quick video about this because I always get questions from you guys as I am creating your formulations for you and you guys we are almost at the thousand mark so when we get to the thousand mark now I'm telling y'all me and my partner got some fire for y'all telling you so if y'all want to see what that fire is hit that subscribe button hit that like button on this video and I will be releasing what we have been working on once we get to the thousand mark again if I don't release it exactly at the thousand mark don't judge me okay just just don't judge me but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye